to be honest with you, that is the part I have a problem with because we are likely going to find ourselves in a situation where uh, whistleblowers are going to one day turn up and call the government 419. Mm. Because when you bring that information, the government will show to you that they have the facilities to obtain that information. In fact, like in some cases where the police will say anybody who gives an information leading to the arrest of an individual will be given certain um, um, uh, incentive. In most cases, people don't turn out because the minute you go forward to give any information, before you know, you are turned, you, they, they probably turn you to become a suspect just because they want to avoid giving you what they promised they are going to give you. So there is actually, in my opinion, there is going to be a problem with the implementation of the 5%. Mm. But if, for example, it is... a uh, uh, it is not whistleblowing, but any other services that you render to agency of the government, it, we can say safely that the federal government can easily give that percentage if that action is covered by law. The most important thing is whether the policy of the government is supported by law. First, I believe that the finance ministry and any other agency of government that is coming up with this proposal, they have gone ahead of time. And the idea is that they are giving information to the masses to have an understanding of what the government intends to do, hoping that before these things are actualized, that bill, as it were, would have been passed into law.